Welcome to 2K Sports, everyone. We have some exciting NBA action coming up. Tonight, it'll be the New Orleans Pelicans going up against the Memphis Grizzlies right here at FedEx Forum with Hall of Famer Grant Hill and Brent Berry. This is Brian Anderson. We'll be hearing from Allie LaForce from the sideline. Allie, it's all yours. Jaron Jackson isn't just the son of an NBA player. His mother worked in hoops from the business end of things. And he said, quote, from a young age, I was given all of the secrets and the ins and outs. They always had the answers. Guys, that knowledge bank, as he puts it, has helped in his quick adjustment to the NBA. Yes, it has. Good stuff there, Allie. Thanks. A look at the starting group for the Pelicans. Ingram is at small forward with Zion at power forward. Eric Bledsoe is out there with ball. And it's Favors in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Grizzlies, Morant runs point with Brooks flanking him. Jackson Jr. at power forward with Valanchunas at center. And it's Winslow in at the three, the small forward. Boy, no shortage of athleticism on display tonight. Grant, you'd know a little something about athleticism. Well, look, the bottom line is, if you have the athleticism in today's game, where speed and pace is so important, and you've taken the physicality out of the game. I believe it gives you an advantage on both ends of the floor. If you're an offensive player who's skilled with the athleticism, you have a chance to be dominant. And then also defensively, you can be a rim protector, on ball defender. So the athletic component to it is certainly an ingredient for success in today's game. You don't want to let them get into a rhythm from out there, and it's New Orleans ball. Pass to Favors. Here's Ingram. There's a screen by Favors. Six to shoot. And it's Ja Morant with the foul. That's his first foul. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. Bledsoe against Moran. Bledsoe can't get it to go. We're not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. High post, Valanchunas working on favors. Valanchunas passes to Brooks. Shot clock at five. And that one drops. And here's Bledsoe. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. Favors with it. Pass to Ingram. Six on the shot clock. Count it. One for one to start the game. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Felt like last season was potential realized for Brandon Ingram as all the numbers up for him statistically. But there's so many other intangibles, I think, that started to show flashes of where B.I. could impact a basketball game in the NBA. Jackson against Bledsoe. Drives to the hoop. Oh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Boy, he emerged as a tremendous leader last year. Ingram could be counted on to make a play when the team really needed it. You're really embracing the moment and coming up with timely plays for his basketball team. And that wasn't just scoring. Brandon's got a tremendous court sense and can make plays. And this is the kind of it factor that people saw when he was drafted number two. First free throw is good. Eric Bledsoe bounced around a little bit in the early part of his career under the tutelage of Chris Paul when he first came into the league. Seems like he's found a home here and very much settling into his role. And he makes the first but misses the second. He was able to tie it up, but he has to be disappointed that he could not give his team the lead. Morant, the pass to Brooks. Here's Morant. Here's Jackson. And Ingram with the block. 
Well, Brandon Ingram is so long, and that's what we could say to the ball. So long. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonas Valanciunas. That's his first foul of the game. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Bledsoe, the pass to Favors. So they take the lead. Favors got his second bucket on the night. Well, Bledsoe has been shown and known to be a scorer in this league, but he will play unselfish and made the right play there. Now here's Winslow. Pass to Jackson. Out left to the wing. 13 feet out. Off the left rim and out. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. Basket counts. Shooting four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. Memphis trailing here. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Kicks it out to Jackson. Just five to shoot. Pass to Winslow. A shot to stop the run. And the three-pointer goes. Well, Justice Winslow takes time to balance himself and measure the defense there. That helps him maintain good body position before the launch. The teardrop. And there's a play by Hill inside. Now George Hill making me get out of a box of tissues. Sweet teardrop there. A minute 53 left now in the first quarter. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Redick outside. Back to Hill. Now here's Hayes. A minute 37 left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Anderson. Just five on the clock. The Pelicans pull it in. Pass to Hart. Goes back up. Hayes. Soft touch off the glass. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. The Grizzlies have gone three of seven so far. 55 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Melton. Ooh, nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. You saw he altered his release, allowing him to get around his defender and then laid it in. Redick outside. Now here's Hayes. Clark covers, and there's a whistle. That's going to go on Brandon Clark. That's his first foul. And just wasn't able to set up in time. There's 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Redick on the wing. This one for three. Hits the three-pointer. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Here's Melton. 23 seconds left to play in the first. Going inside. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. The Pelicans making a switch here. There's 18 seconds left in the opening quarter. The three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. You know, Kyle Anderson plays obviously at his pace, but he's a terrific passer that sees the floor well. And here's Reddick for three. Knocks it down from distance. Reddick's got six. 
Oh, you gotta love the back and forth, showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. The baskets were coming early and often in the first quarter. Pelicans ahead, they lead by six. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. College titles at Duke, a Hall of Fame NBA career. Now, does it bother you that you never won an NBA title? Be truthful now. Yeah, man, you would bring that up. <laughs> B.A., it definitely bothers me. Uh, I played 19 years in the NBA and never got a chance to play on that stage in the NBA Finals, let alone win an NBA title. Uh, having tasted what it's like to be a champion twice in college and with USA in 1996, uh, one of my... Oh, oh that was just, something else, oh, man! Wow! And make it happen. And that's big time from B.I. Memphis has gone three of four from distance in this game. Pass to Valanciunas. And there's the call on Lonzo Ball. That's his first foul. Bledsoe, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Moran against Bledsoe. Morant, the pass to Valanciunas. And here's Morant. Five to shoot. That one goes. Count it. Morant's got his first basket. And off the jump, they were effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. And you know, Grant, it's amazing to think that coming out of high school, Morant wasn't even ranked by the major recruiting services. And what's really funny is that his college team, Murray State, actually discovered him by accident. One of the team's assistant coaches went to a camp to see a different player. Of course, Morant fell in love with the school's community during his visit and committed on the spot, canceling his official visit to South Carolina. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out, just going right for the slam. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. No one covering. Ball's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And aggressiveness from Lonzo, showing that he's getting better and better at these quick offensive decisions. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Brandon Clark, the 21st pick in 2019, has made an immediate impact. He describes his game as vicious, adding, my motor's always going. I'm a high IQ player, but my effort is always going to keep me on the court. Guys, his explosive athleticism unlocks that hustle game. Yeah, he is special for sure. Thanks a lot, Allie. He buries it from three. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Jackson outside. And it falls for him. He's now four of seven from the field. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Favors misses. The Grizzlies have gone four for six here in the second. Pass to Valentunas. Blocked! Williamson outside. And there's the drive. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Fans think of Zion. I think a lot of us go back to those first impressions where we saw a bunch of viral dunk packages of him being a young high school stud. You know, those things got nearly 500,000 views in about five days. And he makes a first. You know, ironically, Brent, at age 14, when Williamson grew to 6'3", he still couldn't dunk. Well, shame on him. I mean, what's, what's Zion doing? You know, the fact is he spent that whole summer working on 
at 14 and 6'3", trying to throw it down. And he finally got an alley-oop to himself off the backboard that he claims. And the rest is pretty much history. That one's no good. I mean, the excitement around Zion is completely undeniable. He's so explosive and he's so dynamic. It'll be interesting to see where he can take his talents. And you got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Williamson outside. Pass to Ingram. Picked by Williamson. The drive by Ingram. And a slam dunk by Ingram. That Ingram and that body and that maturation showing off in plays just like that. To the left side wing. Here's Guterich. Now here's Moran. Jackson, left side. Blocked! Now Hill. Redick outside. Pass to Hill. One forty-one left in the first half of this game. And another three for New Orleans. Bark is checked in for Jackson. Melton comes in for Brooks. And it's Jones in for Moran. The Pelicans making a switch here. Grant, you and Scottie Pippen were two of the pioneers for the point forward role. Now almost every team is looking for that guy. NBA, it seems like every team has that guy. <laughs> and it speaks to how the game has changed and grown through the years. See, now in this era of positionless basketball, you need players who are multidimensional, players who are versatile, players who can dribble, pass, shoot. They can play multiple positions on defense. That's what's needed in today's game for success. So yes, you see a lot of that on teams throughout the NBA. Kept alive. The three from Redick. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. And they're gonna have to pay more attention to him on the perimeter. He's hit four three-pointers already today. To the left wing. Pass to Clark. There's 48 seconds left in the first half. And that one's good, Melton. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're gonna find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Outside Ingram. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Well, when Ingram is this aggressive offensively, the refs knows it too. Shooting two. That one's off. I think Brandon Ingram, not only a great story in his own right, starting to find out just how capable he is as a talent in this league, but also for executives about being patient and letting that talent develop. So he comes up empty, missing both. I love it. In attack mode, drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Guterich. He's defended by Hayes. Over to the wing. Here's Melton. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Outside Ingram. Fires in the triple. And Brandon Ingram at that size able to survey the entire floor and make a play. And the first half now in the books. The Pelicans on top. They're up seven. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. After the first two quarters of play, it's New Orleans in control. 
They have a nice seven-point lead. Shaq, how do you think New Orleans played? You know what, Ernie? I got to stand up on this one. I salute to their bench. Man, once the starters came out, man, the others just came to life. You got to love seeing that kind of contribution come from the others. Man, they look beautiful tonight. How about you, Kenny? What'd you think about Memphis? I felt they had a lack of intensity defensively. They gave up way too many threes. I mean, somebody needs to pull out the fire hose because this fire is out of control and it certainly wasn't because of their defense. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter is set to begin in just a few. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Boy, you got to like what you're seeing from J.J. Redick. Through the first two quarters and change, his perimeter shooting continues to be spot on. Yeah, you would hope the defense at least would start to consider creeping up on him just a little bit. Jackson Jr. at power forward with Valanchunas at center. Morant runs point with Brooks flanking him. And it's Winslow in at the small forward position. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. Valanchunas can't get it to go. New Orleans has gone a perfect seven for seven from deep in this one. And of course we talk about Williamson's rare physical traits, but you look at his skill set, the ball handling, the passing, the court vision. He is oozing with talent. He is so advanced for his position at his age. Pass to Brooks. Now here's Valanchunas. Favors covering. Valanchunas can't get it to go. New Orleans in the lead. Bledsoe outside. Out to the right wing. Outside Ingram. Over Winslow. And it's New Orleans with another. Well, word has it that Williamson wasn't one of the bigger kids on his youth teams, so he focused on developing point guard skills. And develop he did. I mean, really just taking care of what he could control back then. But then all of a sudden he grew from 5'8 to 6'6 between the 8th and 10th grades. He went from an above average hardworking player into a once in a generation talent. Oh, come on, B.A. I mean, where's the defense? That's just too easy. Yeah, they got to do a much better job and help. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead and then their guard gets let down. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Here's Valanciunas, and rejected. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Bledsoe for three, and another three for New Orleans. Well, uh, you have to honor it from there as Eric Bledsoe fully capable of knocking it down. And here's Brooks. Jackson outside. Pass to Moran. Shot clock at six. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Moran's gotten his third basket of the night. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Ball finds Williamson. Up and over Brooks. Williamson misses. The Grizzlies have gone two of five in this third quarter. It's Winslow on the wing. Outside Morant. There's Jackson with the three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Well, he's got that height advantage, and out on the perimeter, a smaller defender is just not going to contest. Bledsoe, right side. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Bledsoe. Now that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another, not on the same page. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Anderson's checked in. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. You know, it, it appears they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. Here's Morant. Give him eight. Pass.
Pass to Jackson. Favors against Moran. Kicks it out to Jackson. Three-pointer. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Moran's got three assists now in this one. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Here's Favors. The three is up. And it's J.J. Redick with the three. Redick's got 15. Well, you drop one on J.J. Redick, he's going to find a way to stand outside the arc and pay you back. Pass to Jackson. Over to the left wing. Valanciunas passes to Brooks. Just three to shoot. For New Orleans, they've gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Redick outside. To the paint. Tipped. Outside Morant. Takes it inside. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Williamson right side. He can't hit that time. Memphis has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Left side, Moran. Jackson outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Moran finds Jackson. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Three-pointer, Brooks drills it from deep. Brooks has gotten his second bucket. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. New Orleans has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Hill with it. Redick outside. Pure from three-point range. He's got 18. Well, you can tell right now the teammates are scanning the floor to find him and feed him. Why not? He's on it right now. Pass to Jackson. Now Brooks lets it fly. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Jackson's got four assists now tonight. The Pelicans have gone six for nine in the half. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Williamson. And Morant clears the board. Memphis with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Into the... Oh, oh everybody up my for that one. goodness! You could just feel Whoa. that coming. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Williamson misses. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game to watch. Pelicans ahead, up by four. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist to the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. So for the Pelicans right now. J.J. Redick out there with Nico Melli. Then there's Eric Bledsoe. Then there's Jackson Hayes. And it's Ball in at the two. And great job to establish position and square up. Memphis trailing here. On the wing, Jones. And he lobs it up! And the dunk by Jackson. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Pass to Ingram. 
Let's it go from the wing. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. Well, Brandon Ingram, a constant threat on the offensive end. And a little bit of work right there in the mid-range. Now here's Jones. Not a lot of room. That shot off the mark. Some solid defense from Hayes. And it's Bledsoe. That time on the assist by Ingram. Ingram's got three assists in the game. Outside Winslow. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. And that really has to lift his teammates' spirits right now. I'll tell you, Grant, these second chance buckets could be what this game comes down to. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Pass to Jackson. With the fadeaway. Misses off the right iron. Well, he wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked, but in the process, he gave it no chance of going in because of how unbalanced he was on the fade. Bledsoe outside. And here's Ingram outside. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Bledsoe. Bledsoe's got three assists in the game. Now here's Jackson. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. Fourth quarter play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Jones' his shot is good. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. The Pelicans have got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Pass to Melly. And here's Ingram. Clock at six. And another three for New Orleans. Now the D has done a very poor job at contesting him from outside, guys. He's tearing into them right now, and they cannot stop him. Boy, without question, Brandon Ingram displaying his skills today. Well, they got to be using this timeout to think about a personnel change or a game plan change to try to slow him down. Morant with it. Now Favors defending. Shots good by Morant. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here's Williamson. That one's wide left. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. To the inside, Valanchunas. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Moran's got four assists in the game. Pass the ball. Williamson with it. That one drops for him. And the Pelicans lead by seven. Well, Zion is no stranger to guys being around him. He's used to going through them, and he does it there. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Here's Brooks. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Ingram against Clark. The shot by Ingram, no good. For Memphis, they've gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Redick against Brooks. Inside. That one, no good. Good D by Williamson. 
125 left in the fourth quarter. Bledsoe outside. And count it. Now five for seven. Bledsoe sort of playing the cat and mouse game here behind the pick and roll and taking advantage of the defense. Brooks against Reddick. Now here's Brooks. Guarded closely. Can't connect from short range. Grant wouldn't be a bad idea here to slow it down. Yeah, the coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. There's a screen by Favors. Here's Williamson. Oh, Williamson throws it down! Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. And he comes up with a bucket. And no one really crashing down on the backside. A breakdown defensively. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Ingram finds Bledsoe. To the middle. Here's Williamson. Clark grabs the board. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. They trail by nine. The three from Valanciunas. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Part of the new NBA. Centers like Valanciunas, who have a nice touch, are able to force rim protectors away from the hoop. And that's an intentional foul. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover for three, Allen. Oh, nails the triple! They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. Yeah, possession's just way more efficient, I think, here tonight. Taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them. Five ticks left to play in the fourth. Oh, the trifecta! Yeah, there's a good indicator of Winslow and his feel for the game. I like how much he makes a concentrated effort to get the ball right there to the open man. And they need to stop the clock, so there's the foul. He gets the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And a tough break as his second attempt is no good at the line. And so the big win by New Orleans in a tight game. And this was an emotional win for them, no doubt about it. <laughs> Just a fantastic accomplishment. You love how they just diffuse the energy in this arena. And that about wraps it up. For Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you later.